So we've already gone through, I'm going to do a quick review just so it's beneficial for Morning Marcus. So we can do um, an example here. So we had subtracting integers. They are very similar to the adding the integers. For example, A, when you add, when you add 4 plus negative 3, it's the same as 4 minus 3. Then we had the additive inverse. The sum of an integer and its additive inverse is 0. For example, 5 plus negative 5 equals 0. So you can make all addition problems into subtraction. So that homework assignment that we had last night, that actually had a lot of problems in it that are going to look like tonight's homework. Okay. I did not say that. I said we would have time to work on homework. Hopefully, we don't have homework, but we'll see. Yes? I do have, do have black. Why do you need a black pen? Where's, where's your pencil you're supposed to have for math? Did it run out of? No, use a pencil. It's mathematics. A tricky trick to help you all. Subtraction. It's tricky because it's like integers are difficult, but I have a trick that will trick mathematics into thinking that it's easy. <laughs> I don't know. So it's a trick. Tricky, tricky, trick to help with subtraction. When you have a subtraction of a negative number, It's the same as adding. When you have subtraction of a negative number, it's the same as adding. So here's an example for you. I have, someone give me a number between, uh, a positive number, an integer between 0 and 30. Rebecca, 20. OK, someone give me a number. We had a girl. Yeah. 13. So I have, I'm going to put a parenthesis around this guy. Now I had 20 minus 13. Or thir 20 minus negative 13. Yes. No. Nope. Actually, hold on. I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Okay. Like we just said, as you just wrote, when you have subtracting a negative number, it's the same as adding. So since I'm subtracting a negative number, it's going to be the same as adding 20 and 13. And the way that you can visualize that is this. Watch what happens to this negative sign. I would take two of these things, and when I change the shape of them, it becomes 20 plus 30 which is equal to 33. So here's what I want everybody to do with your hands. Okay. With your hands, I want you to do here, like this. Okay. And you have minus a negative becomes a positive. Okay. Yep. 
No, that's that's a right angle symbol. Okay. Oops. Is it a what? A slash? One, what are you talking about? What is it? What are you referring to? The one at 13? That's a one, that's 13. So to put that the way that you have it, to put that the way that you would have it would be 20 minus 13 equals 33. And I'm going to write same as 20 plus 13 is 33. And that visualization there is a way that you can remember that. pass out the homework and we can do an example from the homework at, using the additive inverse. I got it. Look at that. We're going to have about 20 minutes to do our homework. Not when you have a minus a negative. Yes, because the two, when you subtract negative, that's how it becomes more positive. So on the homework, you are not beginning the homework yet. On the homework, look, let's look at the additive inverse for number two. Stop talking. The additive inverse for number two. I have a negative one minus six. Taylor? I have a negative one minus six. So what is it going to look like when I use the additive inverse for, the, for this one, Potter? Since they're both negatives, do you add them to negative? No. We're using the additive inverse. The additive inverse. So we're actually going to make it a plus sign. Middleton, do you know? Did you have your hand up? Okay, I thought you had your hand up. I'm sorry. Quinn. Look at your notes. What does the additive inverse say? Ouch. Audrey, what do you think? <coughs> No. Yeah. Nope. Hmm. This is apparently. The additive inverse. So look at this here. When you add 4 plus negative 3, it's the same as 4 minus 3. We have one like this. We're going to be going that direction. Taylor? Uh, six no. Think of it like this. Let's do it algebraically. Think of it like this. What would that be using the additive inverse algebraically? Yeah. No, you guys are switching stuff around. You are definitely, we are all switching stuff around for some reason. Look, the 4 is still in the front. The 4 is still in the front. Hmm. 
Nobody has it? No. Audrey? Nope. Okay, how about, what if I did this? Do you like it algebraically better? There we go. No, nope. you're mixing stuff around. What's my A in this situation? One. No. Negative one. So I'm going to put negative one where those A's are. Negative one. So, okay, I'm going to use this one. So negative one. What is my B? It's just 6. So I'm going to put plus negative 6. I didn't switch the signs. I just kind of pushed this guy out a little bit to make it addition. So now I can see on a number line that I'm starting at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Now I know that I am doing negative 1, and I'm just going straight negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is going to be finish me out at negative 7. I wasn't asking for the answer. I was asking for what would it look like using the additive inverse. How would it look using the additive inverse? Yes, sir. We aren't subtracting negative numbers here. We're subtracting positive 6 from negative 1. Now this one, oops, this one on the other hand, that is talking about what you're talking about. That's subtracting a negative number. Okay? So you're going to give, you're going to have the next, uh, However many minutes to do that? 14. 14 minutes. So some of you are going to finish. Please be sure to cover, or to sh not cover. Please be sure to show your work so I can understand that you understand.